All right then, gang, so time for another coding challenge. And this time I want to move away from CSS and UI features that we've done in the past and into a more programmy JavaScript challenge. So in this one, you're going to be making a tool like this, which can take some standard lorem ipsum input text and then flavor it with a particular theme, like in this case, either a ninja, a Pokemon or space flavor. So if I paste in some standard unthemed lorem ipsum text into this input, and press the Pokemon button, we flavor that dummy text with Pokemon words. So it becomes a kind of Pokemon Ipsum in the output area. And the same is true for the other flavors as well. I can click on them and they update the output text to have that flavor of Lorem Ipsum. And that's what you'll be building in this challenge. You'll be making this conversion from standard Lorem Ipsum into a themed Lorem Ipsum. Now, there's loads and loads of different ways you can approach and complete this challenge. It's entirely up to you which way you go, but I have made a bit of a starting point for those who want a tiny bit of guidance. So these are the starter files, an HTML file, a JavaScript file, and a CSS file. And by the way, all of these starter files are gonna be on GitHub. I'm gonna leave the link to that repo down below and show you in a couple of minutes how to get them. But in the HTML, we have a form with a text area in it. This is what a user will be adding the standard lorem ipsum into. Under that, we have three buttons for three different flavors. And each button has a data attribute called flavor, which is set equal to that flavor. So you can use these data attributes in the JavaScript to detect which button was clicked later on and then use the appropriate flavor based on that. After the form, we've got the output section, which is where you're gonna output the flavored text once you've done your conversion. So that's the HTML, and we're also linking to a JavaScript file down at the bottom, index.js, which is where you'll be writing all of your JavaScript code. So in this file, we've got some DOM elements already selected at the top, which you'll need, the three buttons, the text area, and the output section. After that, we've got an object called flavors, which has three properties, ninja, Pokemon, and space. The names of those properties match the data attributes on each of the buttons in the HTML and each property is an array of words for that particular theme or flavor. These are the words you'll be injecting into the lorem ipsum text. After that, we've got some blank functions, one called flavorize, which takes in two arguments, the normal input text from the text area and the flavor we want to use. So that's either gonna be the Pokemon flavor or the space flavor or the ninja flavor. So one of those three arrays. So it's inside this function, you need to actually generate the new flavored lorem ipsum and i want you to try and make it so that every third word in the input text is replaced by a random theme word from whichever theme or flavor you're using from these arrays up here the second blank function that we have is called update output and it takes in a single text argument which will be the fully flavored text the only job of this function is to take that flavored text and output it to the output section on the page. So that's pretty simple. And then finally, we're adding event listeners to each button and firing a callback function when any of them is clicked. So when that happens, you need to check which button was clicked to get the right flavor and then call those other functions in turn for everything to work. So this challenge is probably slightly more difficult than some of the past ones I've done. So really think a lot about how to solve it and spend a good amount of time doing it and then I'll be releasing my solution pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. So like I said a minute ago, all of those starter files are on this GitHub repo right here, Coding Challenges, so the link to this is down below. You need to select a particular branch from this branch dropdown, and you want the Challenge 5 Start branch. So all of these are the starter files for this particular challenge, and to download them, you just have to hit the green code button and download a zip folder right there so you have them on your computer. So then my friends, that is this challenge. Good luck and I will see you in the solution.